What's going on YouTube? Rogue Director here and this is episode 2 on how to make a machinima. So so I made some changes actually to um what I did in my first episode and what I did is edit out the characters out more. I made it a lot better. So as you can see for the characters I have the protagonists and I changed the names up a little and I have side characters which is the guy, the people that are on the protagonist side. And then I have the antagonist and the characters on the antagonist side. I really suggest you guys do this. I do it this way so it'll be a lot easier and um, you have more stuff together and you get all the characters a lot better. And then I have the background characters which is just gang members, civilians, and police. I forgot to add police last time but okay let's so let's see who I added. Zach Miller. I changed some names as well but Zach Miller I put a little description um, for each of the characters which you might want to do too as well so you know their position and the role in the machinima. So Zach Miller is an avenging um, brother's death and then the side characters is Samantha Miller with his mom, Maya Miller, sister, Carlos Miller, little brother which is dead and then Dane Miller which is his dad that left when they were five. And I'm just doing this so I could have some story in the background on who they are, what happened, why are they raised like that, and all that um, good, juicy story stuff that you want. And then I have Jones, which is his best friend, also Michael, Dylan, Andrew, which are also his best friends. And then Officer Kennedy, Officer Clark, Angel, which is his girlfriend. Now the main antagonist is Trevor Sanchez, and Trevor is the one that killed Zach Miller's little brother. And the side characters on the antagonist side is Joe, which is the gun dealer, Juan, the drug dealer, Tommy, Daniel, Nick, and Brandon. And then the background characters for overall the whole machinima is going to be gang members, civilians, and police officers. So since I did that, um, what we could start now on, since we already have the plot, the setting, and we already have all our characters down, what we want to do is start working on the script. I actually decided to name my machinima Brothers in the Hood and I'm not sure how long this machinima is going to be um, I'm I'm guessing you guys want yours to be like maybe 10 to 15 minutes long or you guys want to do series so I'm actually going to make this like maybe a 10 15 minute long machinima with you guys um, if you guys are making a shorter one don't worry all you gotta do is just cut down the time or skip through certain episodes so you get to the ones you need just to finish a machinima if it's shorter than the ones I'm making right now but for the script we're gonna start working on the script and the way notepad is I can't really put the script in the proper format which I want it to be so what I'm gonna do is show on the screen a preview of a part of my script that I have for my machinima which is specimen 47 um, this is how you want to format your script on the screen if you look at it this is how you want to format your script and mostly is that whenever you format it it's you want to put the the scene the act um, I'm trying to do this off of my head right here, so give me a second. I could actually could probably pull it up right now. And plus, I can't really see well because my glasses broke again. So you guys gotta give me some some pleasure there, you know. Okay, so um, what you're gonna have to do is put the scene, the act, the setting, the cameras. And if you guys want cinematics, you have to put the action for it, and then change the camera again. So if you want cinematics. Um, put the action for it like cinematics of a coffee shop for as this is screenplay it says cinematics of outside coffee shop camera a is a medium shot um, Carlos and then it starts the dialogue Carlos Daniel anyone and then Daniel and then it, show, it shows Daniel's action which is stands up from behind the counter car then goes back to Carlos Daniel and it puts action for Carlos run up to Dan runs up to Daniel and then Daniel Carlos Carlos of course laughs um, Daniel so what it is is just basically putting the scene the act the setting the cameras the actions with the dialogue or the actions with the cameras so I want to try my best here and um, try to format it the best I can with notepad because I do not have Microsoft Word on this computer but I do have it on my surface which I use for um, for making my scripts and everything what I do with a few machinimas and uh, movies I'm making scripts I'm working on actually so I use my surface for that I don't really use my um, 
desktop for that. I use my desktop for editing. But let's get right into it. Okay, so keep note. I'm gonna probably put um, keep note of how the script is supposed to look, and I will start right now. Okay, so this is gonna be scene one, act one. Okay, and then we're gonna go to um, setting. And then the settings gonna be, let's just say the settings gonna be. How should we start off this? And I know this, <laughs> these episodes are gonna be sort of long because I'm not gonna really edit out anything in this video. It's all gonna be showing what I go through when I'm thinking of how to make a script from editing to everything. Unless it's like an hour long edit, then you know, or like hour hour long, then I'll cut it down to the main sources. But this is just basically I'm not gonna I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm how I think through my scripts and how I work with it. Okay, so scene one, act one, setting. So what we're gonna do is probably put the setting as so it's in the hood life. You know what? Let's put um alleyway. I got a good way to start this. Alleyway night all right so we got the setting which is the alleyway at night downtown okay then camera a and b um set them oh wait camera a and b put the action oh shit. um Cinematics. Oh, cinematic. Going. Cinematics of city, basically. Cinematics of downtown. There you go. Camera A and B, cinematics of downtown. And then camera B. We're going to put. Let's just say far shot moving down alley. There we go. So the setting for C1 Act 1 is setting alleyway night downtown. And then camera A and B, the action is cinematics of downtown. So the beginning of it is going to be cinematics of downtown, obviously. And then camera B, which is going to switch from the cinematics, going to camera B from far shot moving down alley. And um, let's just go. So when it's going down alley, uh, let's see. We're going to hear, actually, we're going to hear some characters. And we got to go back to our characters right here. The protagonist, Zach Miller. Let's find a little brother because the little brother is going to be part of this. Um, Carlos Miller. The little brother, so we're gonna put start with the dialogue, and this is gonna be going on during the cinema, the cinematic, or the camera moving down the alley, camera B with the far shot. So Carlos Miller, he's gonna uh, put this so you can tell the dialogue because I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put it th this way because of how I can't really format it the way I want with um, Microsoft Word, so I'm gonna have to put the little um, da or minus sign so I could show you what dialogue is for who but um, I'm also gonna put on the screen again what the dialogue is supposed to actually look like or the script supposed to look like but I'm just doing it this way because I have to um, work with notepad on my computer since I don't have Microsoft Word like I do on my other computer okay so Carlos Miller you're gonna hear um, He's gonna grunt. Oh, not grump. He's gonna grunt. Oh, okay. He's gonna grunt. And then, um, camera, camera A, close up. 
Carlos Miller. Ah, like you know, like he getting he's getting beat up basically. Getting be uh um grunts grunts and pain. Up, up, up. Grunts and pain. And then um who we're gonna have? We're gonna have just gonna have three guys. Actually, no, we're gonna have um three body actors. So the way I usually do this is because um sometimes it takes a while to write out each name. For example, I'm just gonna put um for this I'm gonna put maybe three figures because I'm just gonna have three people beating them up because you're not gonna know who they are. Actually, no, I'm, because I sometimes think of it different ways, but, you know, I might just put just these guys beating up, you know, I'm just going to put the names, because sometimes I do it, I do it different ways, depending on the situation I'm in with the editing and all, or not editing, but the script-wise and all that, so I'm just going to put, um, let's see, what should I put, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to put, Tommy Daniel Nick Brandon Okay, all these guys are gonna be beating up Carlos Oh, I spelled Carlos wrong. Oops. Beating up Carlos. Is that the, um, his name? Yeah, Carlos Miller. Beating up Carlos Miller. Gotta put the characters in. There we go. Carlos Miller. Then camera A. Medium shot. Actually, close up. Uh, grunts and pain. Camera a. This is gonna be a medium shot. Medium shot. Camera a. Close up. Low shot. And then it's gonna be showing the guys in the background. I'm gonna put action, so I'm gonna put an action so you know that's showing the guys in the background. Showing guys jumping Carlos. I'm gonna show in group actually. Showing group jumping Carlos in background. And then we're gonna go to what's his name again? Trevor Sanchez. Oh wait, wait. What did I do here? One, 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 one. Okay, just making sure. Oh. Trevor Sanchez. And then what Trevor Sanchez is gonna be walking. Slow, oh. walking slowly towards group, and then we're gonna go camera a close up Carlos Miller. He's gonna be. Carlos Miller is gonna be um falls to his knees. You gotta think about that. Okay, actually that's an action. Oops. Falls to his knees. Breathing hard. 
Okay, let's see what we got have so far. Um, scene one, act one. Setting alleyway night downtown. Camera A and B, cinematics of downtown. Camera B, far shot, moving down alley. Carlos Miller, grunts and pain. And then you're going to hear this whenever it's going down to cinematic. So when it's going to cinematic or like sort of a cinematic, like the camera's moving down the alley, you're going to hear him grunt and pain like, ugh, ugh, like grunts, you know what I mean? And then camera, and they're going to switch cameras, camera A, which is a close-up, and then Carlos Miller, uh, and then grunts and pain. So it's just going to show him getting beat up. And then camera A is going to be a medium shot. Um, going to Tommy, Daniel, Nick, and Brandon, which are beating up Carlos Miller. Then the camera's going to switch to a close-up low shot, which is showing, actually I suppose showing wrong, which is showing group, showing um, group of, showing group <laughs> jumping Carlos in background. So it's going to be a close, and then the next one is, the next dialogue part for an action is Trevor Sanchez walking slowly towards the group. Now what this camera angle does is it's going to be low, so it's going to show Trevor Sanchez's feet, like he's going to be walking toward the group, but also going to background you can see him beating up Carlos Miller. And then it's going to show him walking toward the group slowly. And then it's going to do a close up and it's going to show Carlos Miller falling to his knees and breathing hard. And there we go. So that's what I have right now for scene one, act one. And then um, what we're going to do is going to be, okay, so Carlos Miller, um, and then we're going to do Trevor Sanchez, and he's going to be What can Trevor Sanchez be doing? All right, he's gonna be walking up, knees. Actually, he's gonna knee down to Carlos Miller. Um, what what can we put for his dialogue? I'm trying to think what I could put for my dad. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to see what the situation and why he would have killed the little brother. He could be a snitch. The little brother could have not snitch, but the little brother could have told. Like he saw something and could have told the cops. Um, could be owing money. I'm trying to think. So. What can I usually put, you know, um, Trevor walking up slowly to the group, camera A close up, Carlos Miller falls to his knees, breathing hard, Trevor Sanchez knees down, knees down to Carlos Miller, knees down, actually I don't need to put Carlos Miller, he just put knees down, okay knees down, uh, okay, this is a struggle I have with writing a script. Let's see. Or a screenplay. Screenplay script is a difference. If you don't know the difference, I'll explain it later in another video. Uh, and also what the different script or screenplay ways you could write. I'm trying to think what way I could do this. You know what? His little brother was a good kid. He was a student. He was going to go to college. You gotta think about that. It, you know, make this story juicy. His little brother was still in high school, a senior in high school, football player, and was about to go to college. And he saw the kids stashing stuff and, like, saw kids with drugs or whatever, and he told security, and security found them. Ah, we got a story. Let's go. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, you think I wouldn't have found you? Hits Carlos. 
Yes, we got a story now. See, see, like whenever you're really into something, like just anything story wise, you just it snaps to you like that. When you just start getting the juiciness in your head, it's just like popping in, in and out. You get like great ideas just flowing through your head. Okay, so, okay, so you think I wouldn't have found you, um, huh? Yeah, you think I wouldn't have found you, huh? Hits Carlos, um, Carlos, Carlos Miller. Oh shit. Um Pain Timer A Medium Shot Trevor Sanchez. Stand up. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so stand up, and then Carlos. Actually, I need to do that. Carlos Miller is gonna. His action is gonna be stand up. Uh, stands up actually not stand up stand up stands up and then um camera camera b white shot trevor sanchez hits oh Hits um Carlos. What would I do? Stand wait um. Hits Carlos. Okay, yeah, just hits Carlos. Got me kicked out of school, and I. The way my style of film, I like a little bit of cursing in it, but I know there's a lot of machinimas with cursing and some that don't have cursing whatsoever, but I think a little bit of cursing adds a little bit more spice to this machinima or any film to be example. So mine's going to have a little bit of cursing, but don't worry, it's not going to be having that much. Um, so let's see, you got me kicked out of school, you little bitch. Uh, you oh there you go hits Carlos you got me kicked out of school you little bitch and then it's gonna go to Carlos Miller falls to floor Actually, um, falls to his knees, breathing hard, um, knees down, you know, hits Carlos, grunts of pain, medium shot, stand up, star, stands up, wide shot, he hit, hits Carlos, dying, gave me a little bitch, and then um, Carlos Miller falls to the floor. Camera A. Uh, medium shot. Um, let's see who's gonna have talking. We're gonna have um. Did I have the whole group there? I think I have the whole group there, right? Tommy, Daniel, Nick, and Brandon. Tommy, Daniel, Nick, and Brandon. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna have Brandon. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna have Brandon. Damn, we're running on like a half an hour, basically. 25 minutes, 26 minutes, actually, right now. Um, Brandon, he's going to be like, come on, man. 
he had enough. Uh, stands in front of wait no not in front of him uh, actually he had enough uh, let's see okay we're gonna put Okay, so it's going to say, you got me kicked out of school, you little bitch. And then fa he falls to the floor if he gets punched. Medium shot. Brandon. Brandon's going to say, come on, man. He had enough. And then Trevor Sanchez. He's like, shut up. Um, actually, he's going to look at. Oh, whoa, too many O's. Looks at Brandon. Looks at Brandon. Shut up. Or you're next. Hits Carlos again. Oh, we're going to put hit car. Hits Carlos. And then Carlos. Carlos Miller. Carlos Miller is going to be. Oops. Grunts and Pain. Did I put Grunts? Yeah, Grunts and Pain. And then, um. Okay, it's going to put Carlos Miller, Grunts and Pain. And then we're gonna have um he's gonna grunt he's gonna grunt in pain and then we're gonna have um camera B actually no we're gonna have camera A No, actually, no, 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 not change the camera. What? Okay, we're gonna not change the camera right now yet. What we're gonna do actually is Trevor is gonna pull out a gun. Sanchez. Let's see, Trevor Sanchez, and he's gonna pulls out a gun. Oh crap. Fuck, what am I doing? Okay. Back over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, shouldn't have fucked with us, dog. Yeah, fuck this, this dog. Uh, pulls out a gun. Trying to fuck this dog, and then, and this is where we're gonna change the camera view several times, actually. So camera A, close up, and then Carlos. Oh god damn! I hate when that happens. Carlos Miller. Picks his head up. Carlos Miller picks his head up. And then camera B. Far shot. I'm trying to debate. Should I have. Should I have the gunshot to where 
the person is shown like it shows the person like from afar like you can see the alleyway and you can see the group of them just standing and you see him shoot the guy shoot Carlos and Carlos just falls forward or should I have it so where um, it changes to a camera view to where you see the alleyway but you can't see them and you see the light from the gunshot and the gunshot noise you know what I'm gonna do that okay it makes it more special Camera A, far shot. Um, far shot above alley. Far, far shot. Wide shot. <laughs> Wide shit. <laughs> Wide shot. Above alley. And then it's going to be Trevor Sanchez shoots Carlos. And then it's going to go on um, camera A or yeah, camera. I, this is what I do it. I do it this way, camera A and B when it's both in action, like a cinematic in the beginning. For example, um, camera A and B, cinematics of downtown. So what I'm going to do on this one is actually camera A and B fades, fades, oh, fades out, actually, that's what it is, fades out. And boom, that is actually scene one, act one. There's going to be some scenes when you only have one act. There's some scenes where you have two to five acts, depending, um, or more. But it's just, um, for this, it's just one simple scene, actually, with a lot in it. So as you can see, for one simple scene, it has a lot going into it. And it doesn't look that much to some people, but actually, it's a lot. Uh, let's see. So let's go over the script again before I end this episode uh, let's see okay script brothers in the hood scene one act one setting alleyway night downtown camera a and b cinematics of downtown camera b far shot moving down alley Carlos Miller grunts in pain camera a close-up Carlos Miller ah grunts in pain camera a medium shot Tommy Daniel Nick and Brandon beating up Carlos Miller camera a close-up low shot showing group jumping Carlos in background uh, Trevor Sanchez walking walking slowly toward group camera a close-up Carlos Miller um, falls to his knees breathing hard Trevor Sanchez knees down you think I wouldn't have found you huh oh wait, this has to be capitalized this I All right. um, you think I wouldn't have found you huh hits Carlos um, Carlos Miller grunts in pain Camera A, medium shot. Trevor Sanchez, stand, stand up. Carlos Miller stands up. Camera B, wide shot. Trevor Sanchez hits Carlos. You got me kicked out of school, you little bitch. Uh, Carlos Miller falls to floor. Camera A, medium shot. Brandon, come on, man. He had enough. Trevor Sanchez looks at Brandon. Shut up or you're next. Hits Carlos. Carlos grunts in pain. Trevor Sanchez pulls out a gun. She not have fucked with us, dog. Camera A, close up. Carlos Miller picks up his head, camera B, far shot, wide shot, above alley, Trevor Sanchez shoots Carlos, when the uh, the shot's going to be above the alley, um, so actually we're going to put this as a, as an action, okay, so wide shot, above alley, Trevor Sanchez shoots Carlos, you can't see it, and the camera A and B fades out, and that is the conclusion of the first scene for act one. So this is sort of how you want to put it as well for each and every other scene that you have in your script or screenplay. So remember this and that's all it is basically for writing a script or a screenplay. I, I can literally end the episode right here or end the episode series or just talk about a few other basic stuff that you might want to know instead of continuing on about how to make a script. I could, I could just make next episode on editing or visual effects, sound effects, you know, but um. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep going on with the script with you guys so I can show you guys some changes. When you finish the script, you're going to revise it, go over it two to three times. I prefer. Um, and then you're done with the script. 
but yes this is so far done and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode please comment down in the comment section below what kind of video you want to see next and I hope you guys have a wonderful day later